All right, our next example, what we're doing is we're looking at uh, the special triangle 30, 60, 90. So again, this should be something that you guys covered in geometry. At least, I hope that's the case. Now in geometry, you probably studied that the sides are going to be x, uh, 2x, and x times the square root of 3. But like we kind of talked about, that's in geometry, so we're going to use a little bit of a different method. Uh, with trigonometry, what we're going to do is we're going to say our sides are 1, 2, square root of 3. So you need to make sure that you remember those because that information is not going to be given to you. And not only is it important that you know the sides of the triangle, but also to be able to label these. So we're going to try to pair the ones up that actually need to be paired together. And the way this works is the shortest side is going to be opposite the shortest angle. So the smallest of these is actually 1, so that's going to be opposite the 30 degree angle. So we're going to go ahead and label our triangle, and we'll put one right here. And then the largest side is going to be opposite the largest angle. So we'll go ahead and make two our hypotenuse. And then, of course, the two medium ones are going to fit together. So the medium angle and medium side are going to be opposite each other. So we'll make this the square root of three. Okay, now our triangle is going to look just like that. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to see, well, as you can see, I'm trying to find the sine cosine tangent of all these, and we're going to find what they call the exact value. So no decimals, okay, no improper fraction, or no uh, mixed fractions. We're just going to have fractions and make sure that they're simplified as much as we can. So we don't know the sides yet until we identify our reference angle. So if we're using the 30 degree angle, now uh, we know this is going to be the hypotenuse because it's always opposite the right angle. This side will be the adjacent side, and this side will be our opposite side. So now we can find our trig function values. So the sine of 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine of 30 degrees is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. The tangent of 30 degrees is going to be the opposite side over the adjacent, which we need to rationalize. So square root of 3 over 3. To find the secondary trig functions, all we have to do is take the reciprocal of the primary ones. So this will be 2 over 1, which is 2. Here, we'll get 2 over the square root of 3, which needs to be rationalized, and we'll do that here in just one second. And I can actually take this and take the reciprocal. So that way I won't have to rationalize my answer. It'll just give me the square root of 3. Just showing you how we can do this, we'll multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. So our answer now will be 2 square root of 3 over 3. Alright, that's 30, 60, 90, but that's using the 30 uh, degree reference angle. What we can also do is we can take these same values, uh, 1, 2, square root of 3, label our triangle, and this time we can actually use the 60 degree at re angle as our reference angle. Now, if you notice, that doesn't change anything in my triangle. The sides are still in the same place, the angles are still in the same place, and in fact my hypotenuse is going to remain the same. But what that does change is now this square root of 3 is going to be the opposite side, where the 1 is going to be the adjacent. So when you're uh, finding your nice little sine of 60 degrees, what you should see is that uh, your sine is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse, adjacent side over your hypotenuse, and then the opposite side over the adjacent. Over here, we'll have 2 square root of 3. Here, we'll have 2 over 1, which is 2. And then we'll move down here, cotangent, so we'll say it's going to be 1 over the square root of 3. When we rationalize both of these, you'll get the square root of 3 over 3. And then here, you'll get 2 square root of 3 over 3. And that's it.